In the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare, a new contender emerges. South Korea has officially entered the race for sixth-generation fighter jets, signaling a transformative shift in global air supremacy. But what does this mean for the balance of power in the skies? And how will this ambitious move reshape the future of aerial combat? Hi, welcome back to our channel. If you're enjoying this video, please consider watching until the end. It helps support the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video to get fresh updates from Defense Forces Insight. Thanks. Let's start. Fifth generation fighters like the F-35 and Su-57 have dominated the skies with stealth and advanced avionics. However, the next frontier, sixth generation aircraft, promises unparalleled capabilities. Some of the capabilities are enhanced stealth, advanced materials and designs to evade detection, artificial intelligence, AI-assisted decision-making for pilots, hypersonic speeds, speeds exceeding Mach 5, directed energy weapons, laser systems for defense and offense, manned unmanned teaming, seamless integration with drones. South Korea's commitment to this next-gen technology underscores its determination to be at the forefront of aerospace innovation. The KF-21 Boramae, South Korea's 4.5 generation fighter, laid the groundwork for this leap. With its successful supersonic flights and advanced avionics, the KF-21 showcased the nation's growing aerospace capabilities. Now, leveraging the lessons from the KF-21, South Korea aims to develop a sixth generation fighter that incorporates Delta Wing configuration with canards for enhanced agility composite materials, optimizing radar stealth, advanced avionics, including ASA radar and electronic warfare systems. This evolution signifies not just technological advancement, but also a strategic move to ensure air superiority in the region. A critical component of this endeavor is the development of a domestically produced engine. South Korea plans to invest approximately $2.3 billion into creating a 16,000-pound force aircraft engine, ensuring autonomy and reducing reliance on foreign technology. This engine will not only power the future sixth-generation fighter, but also bolster the nation's capabilities in producing advanced UAVs and other aerospace platforms. South Korea's ambitions extend beyond its borders. Collaborations with nations like the United Arab Emirates and discussions with countries such as Saudi Arabia and Poland indicate a desire to position its sixth-generation fighter as a global contender. These partnerships could lead to joint development projects, shared technological advancements, and expanded markets for South Korea's defense industry. Pros and cons of South Korea's 6th Gen Fighter Initiative Let's talk about cons first. Technological autonomy Reduced dependence on foreign suppliers Economic growth Boost to the domestic defense industry and job creation Strategic deterrence Enhanced national security and regional influence Now the cons High development costs significant financial investment required, technological challenges, risks associated with developing cutting-edge technologies, international competition, facing established aerospace giants in the global market. South Korea's journey into sixth-generation fighter development is a testament to its commitment to innovation and strategic foresight. While challenges lie ahead, the nation's track record with the KF-21 and its robust industrial base provide a solid foundation. As the project progresses, the world will be watching closely 
anticipating the emergence of a new player in the realm of advanced aerial warfare. South Korea's bold leap into sixth-generation fighter jet development marks a pivotal turning point not just in its own military history, but in the entire landscape of Asia-Pacific defense strategy. By formally entering the race for next-gen air dominance, Seoul is sending a clear signal to the world. It no longer seeks just to keep up, it intends to lead. This move builds on the foundation laid by the KF-21 Borame, which has already shown South Korea's capabilities in stealth, avionics, and aeronautical innovation. But a sixth-generation platform, featuring artificial intelligence, AI, enabled systems, loyal wingman drone integration, hypersonic speeds, and sensor fusion for network-centric warfare, takes this ambition to a whole new level. With China developing the JXX program, Russia advancing the MGLMFS, and Western powers working on the NGAD and FCS projects. The skies of the 2030s will be shaped by whoever can dominate the next frontier of aerial combat. South Korea's defense industry, now empowered with advanced R&D investments and a growing record of export success, is strategically positioned to become a key player in this high-stakes arena. Moreover, by striving to develop its own high-performance jet engine, South Korea is tackling one of the most technologically difficult aspects of fighter jet production. Success here would free it from reliance on foreign engines, a critical step toward defense self-reliance and full-spectrum aerospace sovereignty. This is not just about national pride or regional deterrence. It's about future-proofing against threats, enhancing joint interoperability with allies like the United States, and driving forward a new era of innovation in defense technology. And with rising tensions across the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea, a sixth-generation fighter could be a vital piece in maintaining strategic balance and air superiority in the Indo-Pacific region. In short, the sixth-generation fighter is more than just an aircraft. It's a symbol of national resilience, global ambition, and technological prowess. And as South Korea steps onto the world stage in this elite race, the question isn't whether it belongs there, it's how far ahead it can go. What do you think of Republic of Korea joining the 6th gen fighter jet race? Will they can come up with a cheap alternative compared to their western counterpart? Write your comment below. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.